scavengers play an inevitable role in balancing the ecosystem. Black kites are thought to be the world's most abundant species of raptor distributed over four continents. They are opportunistic hunters but mostly scavengers. They are brown in color but their head and neck tend to be paler. The patch behind their eye appear darker in the males and paler in the females. They spend most of their time soaring and gliding in the thermals in search of food. Their angled wing and distinctive forked tail make them easy to identify. They sometimes bask in the sun during the day. This particular pair of black kite built a nest in the residential area in the heart of the Coimbatore city. The nest was built on a 30-foot branch of a 50-foot tall tree. The nest was a rough platform of twigs, sticks and waste materials placed on the branch. The egg laying and incubation was roughly around 30 days. The typical clutch of eggs is 2 or 3. The chicks are completely white in color when they are born and they stay in the nest for almost two months. During the first week, the parents are seen often at the nest, safeguarding the young ones from predators and also comforting them with their warmth. The crows seem to be a major botheration for the kites. The breeding season of the black kites in India is mainly during January or February. The male also takes equal care of the chicks when the female is away. He also feeds the chicks and comforts them during the first week. Both the sexes look alike although the male is a little smaller and less aggressive than the female. They are very vociferous and often make loud, shrill, weaning calls. These may be sometimes decorated with bright material to keep them away from other kites. Although they scavenge mostly, they are opportunistic hunters and are known to take birds, rodents and bats. They spend much time soaring and gliding looking for food. They scoop down with their legs lowered to snatch small live prey, fish, household refuse and crayon. They are attracted to smoke and fire where they seek advantage of escaping prey. This pair brought poultry waste as feed quite often. They are often seen to be mobbed by crows as the crows try to steal food from them and the adults perch nearby the nest to guard them from the crows. The male brings food quite often while the female sits guard the nest. The female grabs the food from the male and feeds to the hungry chick. The dominant chick gets its part of feed first. The male and the female take equal part in feeding the chick. They tear the prey into very small pieces and feed each chick so the dominant chick gets to feed more. When the adults sense threat, they immediately leave the nest. Siblings show aggression towards each other and often the weaker one gets killed. After two weeks, the chicks are seen to flap their wings, stand on their legs and try to walk around. The active 
chick keeps outside the nest while the other one is always seen to be lazy and sleeping most of the time. The adult brings small feathers to the nest and places under the nest to keep the nest insulated. Time to time, as the chicks grow, the adults keep bringing in sticks and twigs to make the nest bigger to accommodate and make more room for the young one's comfort. The chicks get their dark plumage and they start flapping their wings quite often. The body feathers begin to appear quite noticeably. As the chicks get bigger, the adults perch in proximity to the nest and keep a constant watch and go to the nest only to feed the young ones and to roost after dusk. Feathers on the head become visible after four weeks. The nestling starts feeding on the fallen food in the nest during the adult's absence. They also start to tear the flesh around the stage. They seem to gulp on small pieces of bones entirely, though they still take feed from their parents. At times, the parents bring food to the nest and leave the young ones, which start to feed on their own. After five weeks, the adults and the young ones are seen to feast on wide variety of prey and the young ones are seen to feed on their own. After the fifth week, they keep flapping their wings in an attempt to make their flight. The flapping of the wings at the nest is very visible even from far with their loud shrill green calls during such practice. They keep moving to different branches on the same tree and get back to the nest before their final first flight. This documentary was filmed in the Coimbatore city for about 50 days and the nest was visible from the fifth floor terrace of an apartment.